Hi everyone, my name is Raymond Orr and welcome to my channel. Have you ever looked for the ideal super additive that you know is out there but can't really find out about it? In this video, I'm going to share with you my top two picks for something that is way beyond the regular superfood or super additive. As someone that likes to try out everything, getting my top picks means that I'm putting years of research into just a few minutes of video. Now, these super additives not only allow our body to receive more nutrients and healing, but also allows a deeper connection to the divine and helps us achieve like something that is called superconductivity, which basically connects us to the universe. Now, I've used both of these myself, so I've witnessed firsthand what they can actually do. And this is what I want to share with you in this video. So, stay tuned. <laughs> Without further ado, my first pick is Shilajit. Shilajit is a sticky tar-like substance with a color ranging from white to dark brown, dark brown being the most common. It's most foundly in the Himalaya mountains, but also in those regions. I found this stuff when I was actually researching more about Breatharians, uh, the Breatharian Hindus from India. Those people that live in caves for many, many years without almost any physical nourishment. Shilajit contains 85 minerals in ionic form and humic and fulvic acids. Although it's more popular in Russia and in India, Shilajit is hardly known in the West. This is an ancient medicine that the pharmaceutical companies prefer we don't really hear about. Why would you actually want to use this? Rumor has it, and testimonials, that it helps you create increased energy, helps you extend your memory, controls your mood for the positive, helps you absorb vitamins and minerals, enhances your potency, sharper intelligence, and creates an efficient detoxification process in your body. It literally renews your cells by driving oxygen and nutrients directly into them and supporting the body's natural antioxidant activity, whereby the body rids itself of free radicals. If you know, don't know about free radicals, Google it, it's really interesting. Now, traditionally, Shilajit was described as a yoga vahi, meaning that whatever is taken with it will be enhanced due to its ability to bring any nutrient into solution and drive it into the cell. In one study, COQ10, which boosts energy in heart, liver, and kidney cells, and also enhances your uh, brain activity, was actually enhanced by 29% with the addition of Shilajit. So, how do we use Shilajit and what does it look like? Now, this stuff kind of looks like very hard, sticky black gum. We only take a very tiny bit of it, something like the size of a grain of rice. We can take it in our tea, like dissolve it, or if you're brave enough, just swallow it as it is. It doesn't taste very good, but I assume that nothing that concentrated will ever taste that good. Sort of like uh, dark medicine. You can start by taking it once a day and you may increase your dose. So, instead of one grain of rice, two or three. Most people take it when they get sick or they need to heal a specific part in their body. For example, my mother-in-law broke her hand and took it for a few weeks. Her hand was healed much faster than what was expected and her cast was taken off three weeks ahead of time. The doctors had no idea what happened. And again, she's Russian, so in the Russian community this is a little bit more known. You should also know that this is not recommended to, take, to be taken all the time. It's quite powerful, so you don't want your body and your immune system to get used to it. It's sort of like, uh, it's sort of like driving with training wheels. Eventually, you want to take them off. From all different theories of how Shilajit was actually created, I connected the most with a story that about 50 million years ago, the Indian continent collided into Asia and formed the Himalaya mountain ridge. Now, every year, uh, as the mountains actually formed, Tropical forests were crushed and compacted between massive boulders, sort of like uh, the story of oil. Now, the compressed forests containing nutrient and mineral-rich biomass were actually loaded with very powerful uh, humic and fulvic acids. And now, every summer, as the mountains warm up, this biomass comes out of the rocks and in the high mountains. We already know that pressure and biomass can create powerful things, just like uh, we say that oil comes from dinosaurs. The thing we use for pretty much everything. So, this makes sense that minerals will be compacted into something this small and this effective. Now, our second selection is Ormus. Almost no one knows this stuff. Ormus actually stands for Orbitally Rearranged Monatomic Elements, also called white gold. 
and this is the powder that you can actually buy online. Ormus is what is referred to in the Bible to as manna, due to this texture and the way that it actually looks like. In other words, the manna that God gave the Israelites when they left Egypt. Like I said, you can make this stuff at home or you can buy it online. I used to make this stuff myself and there are plenty of how-to videos online on YouTube. However, now that I just buy it whenever I feel like having more, I do have a profound spiritual awakening periods. Like in periods of time where I choose to meditate more and give myself more practices of awareness and of mindfulness or meditate more in these type of, of, of times. Lately, I don't really have that much time because I have a baby. <laughs> now, chemically, Ormus is supposed to be precious metals, gold, platinum, iridium, in an exotic state of matter, where the metals do not form any bonds or crystals, but exist as separate single atoms. Now, in the same time, it's supposedly the material that the soul or life force of all organisms is made of, uh, sort of like an essence of life, a conductor of prana. Now, here's just a few of the reported things that Ormos can supposedly do. It can cure many, many forms of disease. Uh, it serves for anti-aging. It corrects error in the DNA. It can act as a superconductor. That's why it's so spiritually connecting. It also has a sort of like a weigh ability that is different from mass itself. Uh, in other words, it's different from gravitational mass. That's what makes it unique. Now, you can check out many videos of people that have actually decided to take almost for a long period of time, and most of them report an increased sense of awareness. Check out the different testimonials, just Google them. Now, from my own tryouts, I can say that I used almost for about two consecutive months, and I had majorly deeper meditations. Plus, for a time, I also felt like I'm floating and stress-free. Now, don't go for the cheapest stuff you get. It's probably counterfeit or of low quality. Really, if you do buy it online, buy from where you see other people that have left really, really good comments or where your intuition tells you to buy from. If you have had any experience with Shilajit or with Ormos, please write it down in the comments. Let us know, let us all learn from your own experience. So to summarize everyone, first, I want you to have a good time with these two things. I would first go for the Shilajit and then I will try to make my own Ormos and if not, I would always buy it online. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Namaste, my friends, and I will see you in my next video.